Good morning. Please, sir. Um, I'm a pretty massive Gorillaz fan. If you couldn't tell at this point, I've always kind of enjoyed them. I've always enjoyed their content. Um, but if you're not on the Gorillaz bandwagon, you totally should be. I think they're one of the. I think I think they're one of the, the definitive artists of the millennium. <laughs> I don't want to say like the millennial age group because I don't think that's necessarily the case. Their, their approach to the artistry of of, of music and um, how that's like represented a little bit or how that's um yeah, how that's represented i i'm trying to find a different word for that but representation is a good word how how they represent themselves as, as an artist has always been brilliant because they're showing yeah it's what is that a canopy uh they've always been really good at connecting the, the music with art sorry i can't hear you over the beep, beep, beep. i can't hear that at all i don't hear it at all did it play Did I just miss it? It played. All right. Hey, what up, Mimi? I'm just vibing. Talking about how much I love the gorillas and stuff. Uh, Steady as she go. Oh, that's this, this, this. This playlist is very circa late 2010s. Not 2010s. Late 2090s. They are majestic animals. Animals. The gorillas, the good band. They're good band. I think. I think if you're not into the gorillas, I think. I think the gorillas need to be. It, it, the gorillas are the music as the Nintendo Switch is the video games, which is. They shouldn't be your focus, but they should always be on your radar. If that makes any sense. <laughs> like Nintendo, you shouldn't really ever focus on them. Like if you had to choose PS5, Xbox, or whatever, for all those AAA games. Great, fine, fantastic. But you should always be paying attention to Nintendo because Nintendo sets the trend. Really do, if you think about it. How you doing, Mimi? How's work, bro? Did you work yesterday or, or this morning? Are you getting off right now? Nope. Oh, shit. You just been up all night waiting for me to show up in your notifications. Today is my Monday. Oh, shit. When you go in, wait, if today's your Monday, shouldn't you be asleep? Or are you coming off of work because today's your Monday? I have the workable tonight. Ah, okay. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Well, bro, go to bed. I was asleep like all day. All day yesterday or all day today? Sunday's greater than monday okay i think i understand that much <laughs> i'm i'm making sense of it i promise it just takes me a minute forgive me <laughs> well you know i think i've shot the shit long enough fellers let's get into this game shall we let's continue this odd world run i work tonight and i work mostly five days that's not bad though I have the New Year's off. Let's go, baby. It's always nice to be getting the holidays off. Happy New Year's, my man. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. I love that meme. I, I love that video so much. So my friends send that to me every year. And every year it gets the same amount of laugh. Or, or it gets the same energy of laugh every time. Merry Chrysler. It's hilarious to me. I don't really understand. Unless the snow is bad tonight. You don't get snow days at work. You and your work, you and your work friends, to just show up and build snowmen's, and 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 have 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 a little snowball fight outside the office, even though it's like you know, one a.m. in the morning and shit. You might get hypothermia. Maybe that's bad advice. Maybe don't listen to me. Yeah. 
All right, let's get back in. Let's get playing. Let's play some of this odd world. Odd world. -o. All right, so we got odd world here. What am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing. Three hundred six. Well, we had like three people show up last shift. That's gotta be brutal. I mean, it's after Christmas, so I'm assuming you guys, your 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 uh, you know your. Uh, I was so sad to see y'all wanted to order pizza, but it was busy. I'm sorry, man. If I could, if I could enact any law out where you're at, it's that um, by democratic decree, I don't know if that's even a thing. By law, every building should have a brick oven that you can cook in. Or off of every building should have a brick oven installed it doesn't matter if it's industrial it doesn't matter if it's commercial or it, it do doesn't matter if it's, it's a home residential every single fucking building in areas in which it can snow should have a brick oven built in and then a and then an addendum to that or a clause to that law should be that every building is required to have at least three pizzas that is my decree. If I became president, that is what I would do for this country. Every single person in America who had the ability to be snowed in, I would say, it is the law. You must have a brick oven along with three pizzas of your choosing. But you must have these things. And before the winter seasons, we would send over a, a committee of some sort to see if whether or not that law is being enacted. And if it's not... Death. The president, who's gonna find fuck you? Like, do what I want. That's 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 some very USB president e type shit. I don't know how else to explain that. Would that break the First Amendment? No, the First Amendment is free speech. Nothing about free speech has anything to do with whether or not you or are or not allowed to have a brick oven in your house or place of residence. Your occupancies, occupancies. People are allowed to protest that idea, but why anybody would protest the brick oven? I don't know. Fifth Amendment? Seventh? I don't know. One of them. I don't know how many there are. I thought there was like a lot. I don't know how many amendments there are. I'm being real on this one. Why did my music stop? I didn't stop. It. You should not stop. I didn't even hit the pause button. No, I did hit the pause button because I changed. All right, all right, let's play this game, shall we? Mm. Here we go. And I'm not gonna hear shit, so let's put on some headphones real quick. <laughs> Twenty-seven amendments. Yeah, that seems like a decent number. Follow me. You got it, Abe. Please, God, don't let me die. I don't understand how tired I am of dying. 306! I'm ashamed. But at least it started up back here. I could do something back here. Be gone, homies! Oh, I didn't take care of that punk ass bitch. Shit. No, well, I'm just gonna go this way then. Actually, you know what? Nah, this gotta go. Alright. <laughs> 27 amendments. And not one about the people. You see, you see what I mean, though? You see what I mean? I'm just thinking about the people here, Mimi. Just thinking about the people. Oh, shit. I don't remember how to do this part. I think I just have to run. Yeah. And that guy saved it. 
Hey. Get the bomb. Oh. There you go. All right. Wow. Oh. Yeet. Come on, I'll catch you in the like, uh. You seen him? Fuck! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Dude, how did I miss every single one? I didn't die, though. That's what's important. I didn't die. I didn't die. All right. Come on, Abe. You got this. Just do it over here pitching for the Padres. Come on, man. Ugh. That didn't blow it up. Okay, that's fine. I know. All right, fine. Zero out of ten. Shut up, Mimi. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this game makes me anxious. Oh shit! There we go. Oh, I must have dropped it. Man. Okay. We're goody. We're goody. We're goody. We're goody. I'm pretty sure I can blow this bitch up. I just have to time it right. No. No, I, I can't blow it up. Okay, game. Whatever. Hello. I ain't trying to blow it up then. I'll, I'll just peace out. Really? Bruh. There we go. like that. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, now I need more bombs. Because the bombs are important. Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Come on. Can't let it up. You can't let it get you yet, man. That's only death five. <laughs> there we go. Parkour! I wonder if... 
Two for one, baby. Two for one. Let's go. Okay, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I don't have to go back to the top stand. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Break this wheel. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Laugh it up, babe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Onward. I got four bombs. Remember that, chat. I'm pretty sure I could do a decent amount with four bombs. I'm hoping I could do a decent amount with four bombs. I'm pretty sure I can. Don't be checking that shit yet. Oh, that's right. I gotta go this way first. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm... I'm sorry. What? I don't understand what that was at all. Thing, pull the thing. No, no! Oh. How did I deal with this? I don't remember. Let's go this way. Go on, motherfucker. Run! <laughs> yeah, there we go. I was like, isn't there a way to like kill this dude? But like, if I remember correctly, the the bomb doesn't do shit. But I can still save him. Let's save his ass. There we go. And I got some health out of it. Sick, sick ass food. All right. Ooh. How loud is the game? Is the game like hella loud? It looks hella loud. Wait a minute. I'm gonna lower that just a smidge. I'm not trying to blow your guys' eardrums out. I'm over here. You guys can always tell me when shit's too loud, you know. Yeet. Blam. Blam. Okay, so going past those things opened up the dog gates. Beautiful, that's what I wanted. Open that shit. Now, if I remember... Better run, Abe. Ooh, shit, you better run! Oh shit! I never know how many dogs are left behind in that situation. Come on, ugly. Boom. Okay, alright, that's fine. That's one more. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay. I'm doing a lot better than I did last time. That's for dang sure. Alright. Nope. You need the thing. Slugs can command slugs. I know that, but slugs are dumb. Slugs are a dumb mechanic because they don't always listen. Slugs are slugs are very independent <laughs> animals. I don't know if that's what I should be calling them, but that's what they are. They're very independent animals. Come on, you ugly bitch. Uh, 
Fuck you. Did I get them all? Oh god, I hope I got them all. I was like, fuck you. Just pull the shit out of that lever. Come on, come on, come on. Whoop. Oh shit. There you are, bitch. Got you. Got you, motherfucker. Down. Remember that. Down. That's important. Down's important. Okay, down. Baller. What happened to all our shirts? That's a good question. Run! Baller, baller, looking good, looking good. What's over here? All right, now I didn't go. I didn't go this way the first time because there's other Mudakins I have to save elsewhere on this level that I can't get past yet. So, and this is where I got stuck last time because I spent hours getting at least this this far. But at least now, at least now I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty okay. I'm feeling like I can I can do this. Here's that checkpoint. Now, I don't remember what's on this side, so sweet mercy, please don't let me die. Let nothing be over here that I'm otherwise afraid of. And I hear bombs! That's a good sign. Can I blow that shit up? That's the question. Can I blow that shit up? Baller. Not on my watch, motherfuckers. I got lucky. That's all that was. I just got lucky. All right. Now we do one of these, and now we do one of those. That was so difficult last time. Holy crap! Okay, and now I don't have to do shit in here. Sick. Give me that. Baller, baller, all right. You love to see it. Give me that spirit bomb. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, here's where it gets difficult. Approaching the end, but for Aber the farm, only you can determine which shall receive more harm. <gasps> Okay, let's get the save point right there. We in the floors. Or die. Or die. Now I'm really hoping I didn't kill nothing over here. Like I'm really hoping I didn't kill nothing.
Okay, now I don't rightly remember. I think that kills them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill them. I hate this smell. Awesome. Awesome possum. All right. Now I'm really hoping I didn't kill someone earlier, and I'm gonna I'm gonna find that out. You know what? I'm gonna just mark myself and see. I didn't kill anyone earlier. Okay, that's good. That's what I want. That's all I wanted to know is whether or not I killed someone. I don't. Or die. Okay, let's go take care of this dude. Oh, that was a death. Whoops. We're all right. We got that. Oh, wait, wait. I almost killed these fools. This one foot of floor is gonna be shiny. Alright, y'all. Come on, Hermes. There we go. <clears throat> Let's save these dudes. I got one more. I get multiple. Oh, yo, that's baller. Okay. Should I be going down? Oh, yes. Yes, I should. I should be going down here. That's what that's teaching me. Okay. Yeah, I remember that that's kind of a secret dealio. Groovy. We're doing good. We're, we're actually doing a lot better. Oh, wait.
Didn't I struggle with this last time? I did die, you're right. Didn't I struggle with that last time where I was like, oh shit, I shouldn't really be using this right now. Oh, but I remembered how to do this. I remembered. And I was like, get down. There you go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Go team. Thank you, Tim. I'm just glad I remember the answer. I'm like, man, this shit sucked. I <laughs> Don't hit that bomb. Whatever you do, don't hit that bomb. Okay. Yay! Follow me. Hey there. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Man, the hours are too All right. I haven't had a pound like pie in weeks. Follow me. Hey, where are we going? Wait. Right, right. Hello. Hello. Uh, Follow me. Okay. I would just want to make sure these dudes don't die. Okay. All right. What? Oh, I was too close. I was too close. That's all it was. Stupid game. All right. <sighs> All right. There we go. Let's go, baby. All right. Now, now we get the whole gang involved. Now we get the whole gang involved. All right. Hey, Tom. Be free, my brothers. Be free. I can restock this shit too. Give me that. Baller, baller, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing. We're going a lot faster than we did last time. That's for damn sure. That sounded way too fucking close. Hold up. Oh, that's down there, huh? <gasps> no! No, Ab, get up there! Whoa! I got a casualty? Who died? Fuck! You know what? At this point, I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> at this point, I'm just gonna roll with it. Damn! Who the fuck died? I didn't even see who died. Yo, all three Tomb Raiders are free on an epic game. I, I own all three already. <laughs> I love Tomb Raider. I would, yeah, I would, I would get it if if I didn't already own it. And honestly, that's kind of a super big game. Damn, you fucking died. Damn, who got murked? I'm so upset about that. I was trying to do a perfect run and I have no idea who I killed. Like, I don't even remember seeing one die. 
That's what's brutal. I can't I can't just go back and be like, who was it? And at this point, I don't care to find out. Fine. Also, it was right here. So it was someone right here. It was someone right here. Baller. That's all I care about. I was like, someone right here died. All right, stay zero. These guys, if you're not careful, these guys will kill them too. That's what sucks about it. See, this this idiot didn't get down. Man, okay. It's all right. Take it. Take it. That's okay. All right. I'll t I'll, t I'll happily take it. I'll happily take it because I gave it gives me a chance to save the one that got murdered. That guy's trapped. He's on a loop. How the hell am I supposed to deal with that guy? I think I have an idea. I think. See, the Mudakins can go through those sensors. It's just me that triggers them, right? So let's go this way. Now, if I'm clever about this... No, no, no! Fucking run, eh? Run! Oh, 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 I had a good idea. I had a good idea. Okay. I had a good idea. Let's, let's chalk that one up. And let's just mind melt these guys real quick. Okay, no casualties. We're good. That's what we want. We don't want casualties. We don't want casualties. Damn it! Don't laugh, Abe, you idiot. Okay. That one, that idea worked beautifully. I just, I needed to time it better. That's all it was. Damn it. Hey, <laughs> you idiot. Exactly, Tim. You dingus. You knucklehead. Hey, Pidgeotto, if anybody needs it. <laughs> I just have to spam the look out command. Because not all of them react right away. Oh, he like why did he die? He was <clears throat> You know I have an idea. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I got I should be playing this smarter. I should be playing this smarter and I think I have an idea of how to deal with it. Okay.
Let's go! I didn't think that was gonna be as successful as it was. Any casualties? Any casualties? No. That bomb was a good idea. Alright. I think I already have one. You might. Oh, it didn't tell you you did. Are my Pokemans not showing up? Okay, you guys just hang out there for a minute, all right? No, just kill me. Just kill me. Also, question. Why is these guys still listening to Abe even though he got wanted puss? They listen to Abe because he's employee of the month. That's really what it is. Like, he he is their... He's kind of their boss. Um, there's actually lore behind it. Um, if I remember correctly, it's because Abe wears pants. Two for one, baby. Two for one. And his his little like top knot thing. Fuck! I wasn't trying to. Get, wasn't trying to say what up. I was trying to. You're like make my day. Also, the top knot's kind of an indicator, like his little head thing. It means he's, he's like, he's been working at this job for far too long. Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever. They, yeah, they actually, they say it in their dialogue, too. Like, why they actually listen to Abe. They're, <laughs> they're like, hey, he's employee of the month, and now I have to scrub the floor. Like, something like that. Too far. Too far. Bro, 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 bro. Hey, my, I need you to, to do one of these. Damn it! I'm already counting it. Damn. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Oh my god! That is not what we wanted. I'm trying to get them to panic so they all like move over here. I didn't die. Hey, gangster. There we go. That is that was the situation we wanted. That was the situation we wanted. So we're doing all right. We're doing all right. <laughs> That's right, Abe. Sneaker it up, brother. All right. Now. Ali. Okay. Everybody. Hello. Follow me. Stop. Okay. Hey, chum. Hey there. Follow me. Where are you going? Wait. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Jeff's kiss, baby. Chef's kiss, that's all I wanted. Come on, brothers! To freedom! Perfect! First try! That was not a first try. <laughs> I wish it was a first try. Jesus Christ. I only lost like 10 lives that, that in that situation. That was brutal. All right. After such a journey, Abe's friends will appear to aid in his battle when he is near. Okay, I remember this being not the easiest. I think I'm gonna die if I go up here. But I think that's what I need to do. Run, motherfucker! Run! Yeah, see? This is where I got stuck last time because I triggered... I triggered the um I triggered the save and because I triggered the save one of those dudes died and I was like son of a bitch I wasn't trying to kill him Oh Abe you about to die bro you about to die Abe you about to die Abe get out of that Okay, so that's what I do there. Okay. That was a good try, too. As long as I, like, don't fuck it up and I just stay on that ledge, I can play it pretty safe. Run! Okay. Baller. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want. Sorry, pups. Alright, now... I need him going the other way. Alright, Abe, you gotta be quick, bro. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. Get down! There we go. Okay. And that was all I needed, right? This job sucks. Boom. Baller, baller. So far, so good. So far, so good. A lot better than where we were at last time. Now we fucking save. Now we save. Let's fucking Go, baby. Oh, my God. That was brutal. That took me weeks. Really? Think about it. That took me fucking weeks. And I did it. I did it in two tries. I just need to calm down. That's all it is. I just need to give myself a moment and breathe. Let's look at the directory real quick. That's not bad. I have 169 and something to save. There's still 42 left in the zoo log. At least the one that I'm in right now. So... Let's look at Zulog 1 real quick, because, yay, thank you, my man, thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay, all right, so we're, 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 we're making progress. We're making progress. Right now, I'm still in Zulog 1, and as long as I'm still in Zulog 1, you know, I, I, I have to worry about that number 46. So, brothers. And there, there, are, there are all the secret vents on this level too. So I gotta, I gotta remember that there's like a shitload of secret vents here. 
Hold on, I fucked up. I fucked up. I gotta bring these dudes back. Hold on. Hey, Chub. Oh, hi. Hello. Follow me. Hey, Chub. Hey, Chub. Come on. Get on the thing. Get on the thing. Get on the thing, guys. There we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. I wanted them all to move on the elevator. Alright. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Baller, baller. You love to see it. You love to see it. Alright, now. I believe this is a secret entrance. It needs to have the, like, death pit thing. If it doesn't have the death pit thing, then it's an entrance. It's something you have to consider. That guy barely missed it. That guy barely missed it. All right, can I come down here? Nah, bros. Not today. Not a, not on my watch, fellers. Let's try. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Release. Ooh, that feels good. First try. First fucking try. Let's go. Hey, how many of these bombs do I have? I know I shouldn't be playing with these. I have two. All right. Run, run, Abe, run. Okay, okay. All right, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. I, I thought it would have some bounce back. You know, pick the damn bomb. There we go. Yeet. Catch primate, baby. Let's go. Where's primate? There he is. I'm feeling pretty good so far. So far, I've been kicking this run's ass. Maybe I just needed a few weeks off. Maybe I just needed to get my head straight for this damn game. Baller, baller. All right, so now, here's secret entrance number two. I don't have a primate. Go get yourself a primate, my man. Oh, I should have saved it. Should have saved it, shit. They all woke up. It's warfare. Ain't nobody down there. This game, this game just gave it to me right now. It's like, you know what? Have a fun one. Have have something you can just enjoy for a second. Thank you, Oddworld. Boom. So much mindless violence. It does suck, but you know what, guys? I got you, fam. What in the fuck? Uh, that was rude. That was rude as shit. <laughs> nah, bitch. Don't roll up on me like that. I roll up on you, motherfucker. Hey, this game almost caught me with my pants down for a second. This game almost caught me from my, with my pants. I'm just glad I was able to react. All right. <laughs> no, I, I, I got this the first time through. Yeah, I got this the first time through, but it was different the first time through. You still had the Mudokins on the bottom, but you also had a few up here. No, oh, I already had five, so it didn't matter. Yeah, it was different the first time through. I can't believe I can't believe I didn't get murked. That game pulled a the fucking game pulled a fast one on me. Stupid game. I that almost that almost pissed me off. That almost made me angry. Oh man, that was that was rough. Okay. And there ain't nothing up here, right? I just want to make sure before I before I push uh that way again. What a glecking. Make my save, brother. There we go.
Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's okay. That's okay. I'd rather die than not die. Ugh. How can you tell where the vents are? Okay, there's two ways. There's two ways to tell. I'll actually show you. I'll show you. Um, so this guy's under control for a minute. Why not? Will he die? He might die. Oh no, he doesn't die. Sick. All right. And this one doesn't go any faster. Baller. All right. I'll show you. I'll show you right now, actually, because there is a way to know where they're at. Um. Stitch lips. Hey there. Follow me. Okay. Hold up. What? What's your problem, Stitch lips? Shut up and wait. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Everybody. Hello. Hey there. Follow me. Okay. Go. Okay. Go, 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 go! Wait. Okay, okay. Yep. Bring these damn birds back. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I know where the vents are at, okay? The first time through, I went through the same vents. That's how I know where they're at as I'm going through this part of the game. But, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you in the directory because the directory actually tells you where they're at. So if we go to Zulog1, okay? If you look at the map, specifically look at like that little triangle because that triangle is the, the, uh, the like you are here part of the directory, right? If you look at the floor of the level that I just played, you see those little like green dashes. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little hard to see them, but if you like if you look at the whole thing, specifically almost like right under the directory, there's a vent. That was the vent that I just went through right now. That little green mark tells you that there's a vent there. That tells you that there is a secret entrance at that part of the Zulog. And that's the that's the one indicator. The other indicator that lets you know that there's a vent there is that there's an actual vent. So if we look right here, it's kind of hard to see it, but like Abe's standing on it. This little this little yellow box or this little box of thing right here, it's got a handle. Right next to his hand right next to his foot. And so if you just kind of go over it and and press X, he opens it. Yeah. In the old game, the cut in the floor, yes. So they look like they look like boxes, basically, but yes, the cut in the floor. In the old game, and I remember I actually remember this in the old game. In the old game, you really couldn't tell in the directory where they were at. They I think they updated it a little bit so you could tell, like, hey, there's entrances here. Um but in the old game, this entrance was actually hidden behind this barrel. And if you went behind this barrel and pressed down, and pressed down again, it would climb downwards into something. Um, and that's kind of the only way you knew that there were secret entrances. Think of it like Donkey Kong. Like, you know how in Donkey Kong Country you had no idea where, like, any of the cave entrances were? You just had to, like, throw barrels at a wall. And if the wall broke, it was like, oh shit, secret entrance. This kind of played off of that a little bit. This this game had that same theory and design of 
keeping secrets from the player. So when the player found the secrets, you're like, oh shit, I found something. And like, at this point, in this age of gaming, that's kind of a frowned upon thing. And it's it's for good reason. Like, it's it was one of the more shittier design theories, I think, as far as building games are concerned. If I can riff a little bit, you should never hide anything from the player. Because even though secrets are fun to find, if, let me be clear, you can hide shit from the player all you want. That's what Easter eggs are for. Easter eggs are intentionally things you should hide from the player. So that way when they find it, they feel great about finding a secret. However, the Easter egg should never impair progression. That needs to be the thing. Never impair the progression of the player. If you're trying to, if you're building a game like Abe's Odyssey, where the goal of the game is to save everybody in the game, then you should never hide that type of progression as an Easter egg. Because that makes for very frustrating gameplay. I'm sure you understand that, Tim. It, it's, it's like, you know, imagine if I was a kid and I was trying to get 100% on this, and I didn't have the internet back in the 90s. Think about that. The internet did not exist for me until 2009, 2008, when I actually had to buy the internet and pay for it myself out of my own pocket. Isn't that a crazy idea? So, as a kid, as, as if I'm playing through this game, you want to know my sources of information? Nintendo Power, like Game Facts. No, not Game Facts. The magazine. I can't remember what the name of the magazine was. I think it was Game Facts. I don't think it was though. I think it was Game Informer and Gaming Monthly and. There were there, there have been multiple gaming publications throughout the years for sure but my point is if i was trying to get any information about this game at that time i would have had need to have found the information in some type of publication you know how hard that is as a kid <laughs> it's fucking brutal i didn't have access to those things i didn't have access to the internet i on occasion had a subscription to nintendo power and that's when I really like beg my parents for it. Like, please, please, just give me some Nintendo Power, please. But Nintendo Power never covered Abe's Odyssey because Abe's Odyssey never came to the, any of the Nintendo platforms. So how the fuck was I supposed to know that there were these points of progression hidden in the world? It's unfair, it's not okay. So the tiny updates that they did to this game that gives you the visual clues to tell you, hey, there's something here, I appreciate because as an older gamer, that makes that skill gap that much smaller. You know what I mean? Like, had I spent that amount of time on this game as a kid, I'd probably know where these things are at anyway. Like, I knew where this one was at, and I knew where this one was at because I remember it as a kid. But outside of that, had I never made that attempt to find that as a kid, I would never know. I'd be like, how the fuck? Where are these guys? Oh my god. And like... That's a thing, because as a kid, I remember, and, and I would even point that as a reason why I never got that far as a kid, because as a kid, I would get to this part in the game, not this part, at this part, I'm well past where I was at as a kid, but in the beginning introductory levels, when you're struggling to find the rest of the Mudakins before you leave, it, it really pisses you off because you're like, I have no clue where any of these guys are at, and yet the game keeps telling me that they're somewhere on this level where and at some point you just give up you're like this isn't fun now like I, I don't know where to find it this sucks i can't look online like why the fuck am i gonna keep playing this game but i still always had like that that like charm for the game as a kid of you know if i really enjoy the aspect of the game i enjoy the dark humor i enjoy you know the aesthetic the design the art direction like I enjoy it a lot, I, even to this day. That's why I keep purchasing this game over and over and over. By the way, it's five bucks on Steam. If you wanted to pick this game up for yourself, go get it on Steam for five bucks. Absolutely. Um, but that's beside the point. That's my riff. Um, so that's how you can tell where the vents are at. So thankfully, in this version of the game, they do make it a little bit clear. It's not entirely clear. You kind of have to have the eye a little bit to kind of notice like, hey, there's those things there. I wonder what they are. But, I mean, that's okay because that's the sense of discovery you're supposed to feel with these types of things. And I think they did it right, where it's like, you know, as you're looking at the directory, if I was a newcomer to this game, I would question those green lines. I'd be like, what are those lines? 
are they anything? I should go visit that on the map. And then you go and you visit it and you, you know, you unearth a vent, all of a sudden it clicks. Oh shit, these are, these are, oh my God, these are secret areas. Boom. It doesn't outright say that, and I'm glad it doesn't outright say that, but I'd rather have this type of like, hey guys, we put this here, let's see if you notice it, versus, hey, there's these extra things that, you know, in the original game were never there, blah, 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 and it's, I think that, that I, I, I really appreciate the remaster of this game because it keeps within the spirit of the original design while also allowing it for easier and m almost more accessible gameplay a little bit where, you know, newcomers aren't as frustrated as the old heads where, I you know, again, the, a lot of my frustration of this game came from the fact that these Mudokans are hidden behind Easter egg type mechanics. So, good on you guys. Thank you so much for fixing that. Let's continue. <laughs> I said I was going to riff. I, I said it. I warned you. All right. I don't want to die. I'm going to just I'm just I'm just chill. I'm just walk. All right, nothing's happening. I'm safe. All right, we're going to sneak. Because I'm not entirely certain. There are so many over here. And my concern is... Oh, there ain't shit here. Baller. Everybody. Hello. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just seeing how quickly rage is. How quickly rage. I, I, to be fair, 326, that is not a quick number. <laughs> that took me some time, bro. That took me some time. But to be fair, you know, th this, this game has very old design philosophy built into it. And, the, the, and, 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 and I'm sure you know what this is, Tim. Uh, almost every everybody who's played any video games knows what this design philosophy is. It's an archaic philosophy. It is basically the philosophy of Super Mario. And the philosophy of Super Mario is make the game hard enough that beating it feels rewarding. That's it. That's the philosophy. Before we had the idea of 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 difficulty sliders and 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 uh, difficulty tiers the philosophy to any old game, any old game, and this is an old game, make the game hard enough so that way when you beat it, it you get that like that boost of serotonin that holy shit, I beat this. And a lot of those old games have that philosophy, bro. A lot of them. A lot of the games on the Super NES, you know, basically, basically any game on the NES and Super NES had that design philosophy. Um, it wasn't until like the N64 that they started to adjust that and it wasn't until the PlayStation that they started to adjust that um, I know Abe, But ultimately that's that's kind of where the philosophy comes from. So see see the vent right there bottom left right behind that barrel Look at right behind that barrel That's intentional So you have to be willing to accept that you're gonna lose a lot you, but in losing I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Why would I help you? Bam. What's Tam, you know, I you know I've never thought to ask you this, but now I'm curious. What's the hardest game you've ever beaten, my man? Okay. 
Now my question is, this down here does not have a thing. I'm assuming this is a death trap. I don't remember if it was or wasn't. And it, this one was easy enough where it actually might be worth trying. So let's let's see if it is a death trap. It might be. I might be. I, you know what? Let's get let's give a death. Let's give let's give one away for free. That's the name of this game. You kind of have to embrace death. You really do have to like like I think that's what makes I think that's maybe why I don't rage so hard when I die in games. Like I'm the only guy I know, and I'm not even kidding. I'm the only guy I know in my in my IRL circle, and maybe you're this way, Tim. But I'm the only guy I know in my real life circle who doesn't get upset when they die. And it's because of games like this. It's because of games like Super Mario. It's because of games like Sonic. It's because of games, you know, like Banjo and Kazooie, where you have to kind of accept death. It's what the whole part of the game is is to, you know, learn from the mistake, come back to life, and then start from scratch and figure it out and move past. That's the only way I've gotten past this game. 326. You think if I was afraid of death? I'd still be playing this this game. <laughs> this game has progressive difficulty like the old games. Exactly. And that and again, that's part of the design philosophy, right? Make the game hard enough that it feels great when you beat it. A part of that philosophy is okay, we're gonna give you the basic understanding and the basic mechanics of how to do everything level one. Level two, we're gonna scale that up a bit. Level three, we're gonna scale that up a bit. Level eight. Good luck, you're fighting Bowser. At this point, you should already know exactly what the game expects. Uh, uh, not what the game expects. At this point, as the player, you know exactly uh, the momentum of the game, the pacing of the game, right? In this situation, I expect saving these dudes is difficult as shit. But every time you save them, it's like, awesome, I did it. Go, go team. Hey man, they're beating up these dudes. Sorry, pup. One of the best games that, one of the best franchises that actually still do progressive difficulty that I appreciate that they still do is uh, Resident Evil. They did it with eight too. But I actually think they did it better in seven. Um. Oh, I need to get back on the seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream. You know what? Next year I'm gonna stream seven. Next year I'm gonna stream seven because I actually really liked seven. I liked seven more than I liked eight, and seven was scary. Seven, seven was fucking terrifying. Everybody, everybody. break time already. Except Mega Man, I heard that was hard when it came out. Yeah, Mega Man was hard when it came out. But again, same exact philosophy of, you know, that. <laughs> I already forgot what I said. But the same exact philosophy of. Hold off, response, ads. Oh, okay, got you. Where are you gonna where are you gonna put me, game? What the fuck? Who hungry for some beans? Is that Dave? Is that Tim? Who is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't jump. Don't jump, babe. Don't jump. That is not what you want right now. Yup. Hmm. 
Now we go into the Zulag 2. Now we play the rest of the game. Actually, wait. Wait. I forgot to check. I forgot to check if I have any left. Wait, hold on. I gotta check. I can't just I can't just run through it and not know whether or not I can save them all. That's not what I want. Hundred and seventy two escaped. 120 something left. All right, that's fine. I can roll with that. But I need a directory game. I need a directory. Before I go any further, I need a directory. Oh yeah, all right. And I believe there's a directory over here, too. Give me that shit. <laughs> Beans! What the if? I was like, I don't think there's... Dudes here, I think I murked them all. There we go, directory. Wow, you did that last screen and got them all with no game over? Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I got them all sick, so no one else is left in this level. Zero. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, it's time to move on. What in the fuck? Today was fantastic. I might... I might just end it there. Hold up. I'm not even kidding. I might just end... I Not my stream, but the game. I might end the play there for the day. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna go to the next stage. I'm gonna go to the next stage. But I need content. I'm blowing straight through this. Oh my god, I got... I got... I got through this part so much faster than I thought I would. Uh, let's see. I've only been streaming for an hour and 30 minutes. Holy shit, my guy, my brothers, my goodness. If I, if I, I, I wow. I'm proud of myself, shut up. <laughs> I am proud of myself, I can't believe it. All right, now we go to the next stage and I think I'm gonna switch the game because holy shit. Fantastic, fantastic. This damn game. I don't really need to go that way, but I do need to go this way. Yes. Uh, and save. Go back to the forest. I can't go back to the forest, but it's saved already. So now, now here's what I'm gonna do. Because I can I can save in the in the game itself. So I'm gonna hit pause, and I'm gonna quick save. If we can get Lonk. Oh, yeah. Back to the forest. The game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let me save this real quick. My goodness. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I did this with such a quickness. Literally, this, this last week. Not, not week. The last, the last time I did this for this game, this part took me hours. And I even reset. I was struggling. I can't believe I did that. I awesome. All right. I... Did I hear Forrest? Oh, there he is. Troy, bro, where have you been? I have been kicking ass, dude. I, I'm... Holy shit. I wish you would have seen this. Uh, like this... This has been the best run that I've done of this game so far. Holy shit. Dapper Troy, welcome back to stream, brother. Thank you for the chits. Cheers. Chitties. Chitty bitties. Bitty chitties. Cheer bitties. Thank you for the cheer cheery wearies. <sighs> I'm, I'm excited. I've, I've had coffee. And I actually did a phenomenal job with this Oddworld run. Holy shit. I started the game at like 310 and I've only died 16 times. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that wild? And I actually managed to save like 76 Mudakins in this run. What the fuck? 
for for 15 lives awesome baller i could not be happier um wow yeah so well yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna see if i can get lock uh going as well but absolutely we're gonna come back let's play the forest cash bless toys um i just i can't believe it bro i fucking blew this i blew this stream out of the water i, I blew this run wow <laughs> wow that's all i can really say wow Aren't you playing? Play the song. There you go. All right. Yeah, let's. Uh... Wow. That's like fucking eight. So that's going to be Odd World for today. Thanks so much for watching along, guys. Appreciate y'all. If you like what we do, make sure you follow us on our socials uh, Discord, Instagram, like us on Facebook. If you like us here on YouTube, give us a subscribe. Watch our other content. Check out our other VODs. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys watching. Stick around. And as always, stay classy, baby. I'm not actually.